I'm here at AAD 2016 talking to Kuez Joubert, Technical Manager, DCD Protected Mobility. We're standing beside an example of DCD's well-known and well-proven Husky. In the regular mobility displays at the show, the company are showing for the very first time a fully autonomous version of Husky. Chris, could you tell us a little bit about the autonomous version of Husky and, and the thought processes behind developing that variant? Sure, thank you very much. Uh, as you know, the Husky has been doing very well in uh, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And the, the USA saw a need for a more safer uh, operating environment in creating a standoff operation of the Husky vehicle. And then uh, we obtained an order from Tardec to uh, develop an autonomous Husky as an R&D program and that is now shown for the first time in South Africa. So the autonomous Husky has to operate in uh, very high threat areas um, where you feel that it's better to take the operator out of the vehicle and it can be operated in three modes, a manned mode, teleoperated and then of course a full autonomous mode. And what were the requirements for autonomy that were laid down by the user? Well, the user stated that they want to detect mines at a speed of between 3 and 25 kilometers per hour. Um, it must have an emergency shut-off capability. Uh, you must be able to mark the mines during detection so that the vehicle can move on. And then the sappers would come and do the clearing thereafter. And furthermore, the Husky had to maintain its original requirements in terms of mobility and protection. And then also another important thing was the, the cameras, the PTZ cameras. When you're in a teleoperated mode, you always have a very good visual um, idea of what's happening all around the vehicle. And presumably the, the driver operator is the person that controls the vehicle when it's semi-autonomous or is, is in control of the vehicle if required when it's fully autonomous? Yes, the driver is in control. So the driver can be uh, within another vehicle like a Springbok XD or one of the Springbok vehicles and he can operate the vehicle in a semi-autonomous mode from about up to one kilometre. And you said Husky is, is in service with the US Army. Could you give us a, a little bit of background on the history of, of the vehicle, the product, and the US contract? Sure. Uh, we developed the Husky in South Africa in 1981. Uh, it was used by the South African Defence Force. And then thereafter, the UN, with the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, became one of our largest users. They purchased almost about 1,500 of the vehicles and then other NATO countries have also bought like Spain and Turkey and Australia. And today we also have developed the Husky two-man version which is a two-man cab and we think we had to do that because all the equipment which was being fitted to the Husky became, the workload became too hard or too much for one person. So you have a buddy in the cabin now. Excellent. Thank you very much.